kids, it's Granny. I thought it might be kind of fun to have sort of a show and tell today. Um, I've got a lot of eccentric, strange things lying around my house, and I just kind of wanted to share them with you one at a time. So let's get started. I picked out four items from my collection today because I like the number four. Normally people do things in threes, but I just happen to like four, so we're doing four. The first thing I want to show you is my trophy. Yay! Yeah. 2001. I believe it was 2001. Um, this doesn't have a date on the trophy. And as you can see, it says first place Tigger, because I used to go by the nickname Tigger. And it's very tall. And it's a trophy that I got for playing pool. You can see up on here there's the little balls. It's got balls. <laughs> Has balls and pool cue. And I guess that's a rack. Um, so yeah, that's my trophy. Because I'm a badass pool player. Yay me. Um, yeah, a girlfriend and I joined a, a league. Um, a crew, a team, I guess we were a team. And it was at Buffalo Billiards Pool Hall. I don't know if that's a chain, so I don't know if those are all over the country, if, if there's just like one here in Northern California. But it's called Buffalo Billiards. And it's a really fun kind of family-oriented place where people can go and play pool. And they sell alcohol, but they also sell like pizza and sodas and stuff. It's, it's kid-friendly. So that used to be a really fun place to hang out. All right, second item that I'm gonna share with you is a painting that I did, I paint. This is, I, um, um, I've always had a fascination for the Navajo Nation and their beautiful pottery um, and their textile work is all so beautiful. And so I wanted to kind of honor that in this painting and so this woman's got around her shoulder, she has a Navajo blanket, which of course I couldn't really approximate because I'm just not talented enough. But they make these beautiful blankets with these gorgeous red and black and gray and white patterns. It, anyway, I wanted to put that around her shoulder and then she's painting her pottery there. And I tried to capture the southwestern sky in the background. The next item that I'm going to share with you today is this little lady. This is just a wise woman that actually my therapist suggested that I sculpt. Um, you know, she said when you need to like conjure the wisdom inside you and the wise woman that's inside of us all, you can have something to kind of look at and to represent that. So there she is and I tell her my problems. And finally, the book of the week. This is a soldier's Bible, which is really old and really falling apart. And you see it's stamped with a number. These were given out to soldiers in World War II. I don't think it was a World War I Bible, even though there's no date in it at all. Um, but I'm assuming it was printed in wartime, either World War I, World War II. And inside it says, Supplied for the public service. It was printed in London, so this was for the British soldier. And there's a soldier's prayer in there, which is really precious. I love this. Translated out of the original tongues and with the former translations diligently compared and revised by His Majesty's special command. Now that gives us a clue, doesn't it? His Majesty. So it was king. This was before Queen Elizabeth, which means it was when King George was still alive. It's got to be World War I, right? I think so. Somebody out there who really knows history, please tell me. But I believe King George died at the beginning of the First World War. Ugh, I'm not positive. Somebody, somebody help me on that one. So that's our soldier's Bible. Um, I bought this for my husband at an antique store. 
uh, many years ago and he just, you know, he kind of put it on the shelves because it's not the kind of Bible that you sit and read and fall apart. So we're just hanging on to it and someday I'll pass that on to some younger member of the family to keep and treasure. So that's my show and tell for today. I hope you kind of liked it. Um, I'll dig up some more stuff. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is there a fifth item I would like to share with you today? I think there is. Hold on a sec. Okay. If you're a member of PETA, P-E-T-A, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or if you are horrified by fur, then you might want to cut this video right here and just move on to something else because this is made of fur. This is a little seal who came from Canada and I, I think it's beautiful. They don't make these anymore, I don't think. I don't think it's any longer, I don't think it's legal to make these. But he's so soft and he's so cute. Um, but yeah, little seal, he's got his little leather flippers. Hello. 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 I'm a seal. Hello. Hello. I look at you with my little beady eye. Alright. I hope you liked my show and tell today. Um, let's do it again sometime. I still got a ton of stuff around here I can show you that you may or may not be interested in, but I got something to suit everyone's fancy. So, yeah, we'll do this again in a week or so. Um, we are going to have story time Saturday this week. That's a commitment on my part. All right, I love you guys. I hope you have a great night, and stay tuned for more. Bye!